Police seen investigating the scene Tuesday, one day after a cannabis business operating out of this building on the 300 block of Encinal in Santa Cruz has led to the arrest of its business owner. The owner in this case, uh, when arrived on scene, used what was lethal force or deadly force to try and stop what more or less was a property crime occurring. Derek Wayne Hubbard was arrested after about eight masked thieves broke into his business decibel before sunrise. A security alarm was tripped and Hubbard arrived on scene before police and according to PD, he fired multiple rounds. Not only was it a property crime, but these suspects were exiting his business and did not pose a threat of violence or harm to anybody. As the thieves fled, Hubbard allegedly rammed his car into at least one of two vehicles leaving the scene. Hubbard then fired more shots and the suspects fired back at least once. One getaway car was found off of Highway 17, but no suspects have been arrested. Hubbard now faces four counts of attempted murder. That's that's just crazy. I I I, I don't know what he's supposed to do. Grant Palmer co-owns Canna Cruz, a dispensary just down the street. He's a friend and business partner of Hubbard's. Palmer says he was also robbed in a similar manner by over 10 masked thieves caught on his security cameras. I would like to know what Chief Escalante's policy is on armed robberies because it seems to be there isn't one. They didn't, when they robbed us, they didn't even collect evidence. Back in March, two similar incidents. This surveillance video shows multiple masked thieves brazenly stealing hundreds of pounds of marijuana from a cannabis business a few miles away. And then days later, another theft police believe is connected. That robbery was Hubbard's business decibel. With this latest incident, police are not sure if it's the same suspects. Palmer believes it is and is fed up with Santa Cruz police. We have all this security and then they keep trying to blame us. What is this? What can a security guard do against armed robbers that Derek didn't do? And Hubbard's friend uh, Palmer says that he's not sure if the business is still open. He knows that's not currently operating. But what I can tell you is that there have been several cars coming in and out past these gates. It's not entirely clear if it was just Despo that operates back there. Live in Santa Cruz, I'm Christian Balderas, KSBW, Action News 8.